Hey there, my name is Hydrogen Heather, and we are very excited to have you join us for today's experiment of the day. And yet again, this is one of my very favorites for two different reasons. Number one, everything that you need is right in your pantry. We simply need some vinegar, oil, food coloring, baking soda, a small measuring spoon, a homemade foil funnel, and a dropper or a pipette or an eyedropper. We couldn't find a pipette or an eyedropper, so we just found a syringe that you would get with a pack of children's medicine. The second reason that I love this experiment is if you've been following these day by day, you know that two days ago we did density bottles, which everyone's done a thousand times, but this proves such an important point. Once you get the basics down, which are fun to learn and repeat, that's when you get to move on to bigger and better things. Just like in baseball, you better be able to sprint before you think you can steal. In basketball, I assume that you better be able to dribble before you can drive. Well, now that we know the basics of density, we can take that along with another very common children's chemical reaction and make lava lamps. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna take you back to a couple of days ago when we did density bottles. And if you remember, we took two different liquids, actually we used three, and we wanted to see how they behaved when you put them in the same container. So based on what we remember about density, and if you didn't catch the video, you can scroll back on Facebook or go onto YouTube or on any of our other social media sites and the experiment is posted there. But ladies, I would like you to tell me which liquid feels heavier and which liquid feels lighter. And I will tell you that this is corn oil and this is vinegar. So just feel it, don't say anything yet. Now you feel it. I'm lucky. You feel it. Good job, buddy. And you feel it. Now, of these two liquids, which liquid felt heavier, the oil or the vinegar? The vinegar. The vinegar felt heavier? Okay, so based on what you remember about density, if we put these two into a bottle, which should go to the top and which should go to the bottom? The, the, the vinegar should go to the bottom. Right, the vinegar should go to the bottom because in density, heavier liquids are going to sink lower and lighter liquids will be on top. Well, we're going to use that little bit of science knowledge to create a lava lamp. So the first thing is, I did a little bit of this before camera because this is a time consuming part, but we want a nice thick layer of baking soda. So you can see I just took a piece of foil and wrapped it to make a homemade funnel and I'm gonna take a small spoon. And of course, you can let your children do this, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and do this because this prep is not the important part. So I'm just going to rush through that. I believe that the instruction sheet says about two to three tablespoons. I really didn't measure. I just want a good thick layer of baking soda. So now I'm gonna set that to the side. And the second thing that we need, and I'll be honest, in my household, I'm going to do this because we mothers know how much of a nightmare oil is to clean up. So we want a very, very thick layer of oil. So one cup is definitely not going to be enough. So I'm going to pour a second cup. And then after this is when I'm gonna have the four of you hop into the action. So let's just make sure that this is a really, really thick layer. Really thick. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one more. Okay. Let's, make this, let's just make this have some super high impact. Mommy, I'll do it again. Okay, well now is going to be your job. Now, since we are doing lava lamps, we're not going to shake this one. He's remembering the experiment from two days ago. But what we are going to do since we're creating a lava lamp is we are going to color our vinegar red. So let's each put one drop of food coloring in. And that just means a nice, gentle squeeze. Okay, gentle fingers, buddy. Oh, good work. Well, one drop or five, <laughs> as close as we can. I like three. Oh, you like to have three? Okay, and one more.
Okay, and I just want to go back two minutes here. All of you made a prediction. You said that the vinegar was heavier. So what should happen to the vinegar if we're talking about density? Should the vinegar go on top or on bottom? On bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna see what happens. And then most people watching this, most children by about the second or third grade, know what happens when you mix vinegar with baking soda. So I'm not going to say a word, but here's what we are going to do. We're gonna fill the syringe with the red lava. And Nevea, I'm going to let you go first. Just very gently, very gently, squirt about half of that into the bottle. So to number three, to two? Right, and don't worry about an exact measurement. Just go nice and gentle. All right, now I don't know how close or not closely you can see this on camera, but we have a lava lamp just going to town. And what's happening is the vinegar does indeed go all the way down because it's more dense, all right? It's more heavy. And as it goes down, it reacts with the baking soda and it creates carbon dioxide gas, which is then put into a bubble and it goes back up through the oil. But then we're seeing a phenomena can you see what's happening to the red, ladies? Can you see that yet? It's going down. Right. As the air is released, the food coloring, which is mostly made of water, sinks right back down. So let's give everyone a quick chance to make these. Do you know how to use this? Ready? Let's push it together. Push. Push. Oh, nice work. All right. So now let me fill for the two of you. And you can do about half, Olivia, and then let Savannah do about half. Oh, so now if you have children putting the vinegar in at the same time that the vinegar is reacting and going up, you get your true lava lamp because you've got the bubbles going up and down and up and down. It's a constant action. Very, very nice work. All right, and Savannah squirted hers a little bit harder, so it was just a quicker route to the bottom, and you've got it. It's all in there. So this has been a lava lamp. Tons of fun to make, and it will work for quite a while if you put quite a bit of baking soda in there, which is why I put that nice thick layer. So have a great deal of fun with this with your children when you do it at home, and we will see you right back here tomorrow.